Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Mike Shoddy, co-founder of Horse Racing Nation and Derby Wars, and your author of The Super Screener. Hey, are you ready to take down this year's Kentucky Derby? Well, in this educational video, I'm trying to help you do just that. I'm going to share with you three of the most critical learnings and insights that I've taken away from playing the Kentucky Derby for many, many years and were confirmed in the massive Super Screener study that we conducted several years ago on this race. By doing so, that helped me move from taking some pretty tough beats in those earlier Kentucky Derbies to cashing some of the biggest tickets of my life. And we hope to do just the same for you. Now, why is the Derby such a great wagering opportunity? Think about it. You've got 20 horse field, big pool, a lot of uninformed money. What does that mean? Big payouts. So let's get informed right now and increase the probability that we're going to cash on this year's Kentucky Derby. Tip number one, you've got to be able to project the pace of the Kentucky Derby. Of course, pace analysis is critical in any race that we handicap on any given day, but in the Kentucky Derby, even more critical. With 20 horse fields, it's almost impossible to steal this race in the front end. It's been done, but it is extremely rare. And of course, the pace setups and all the preps that led up to the Derby, very, very different than what the front runners in particular will encounter in the Kentucky Derby. In the prep races, they might have gotten away with some very soft fractions and one going away. They're going to face an entirely different pace scenario when it comes to the Kentucky Derby. And hey, look, we all have our favorite horses as we come into Kentucky Derby, and I'm no exception. But we can't let emotion get in the way of objective analysis. So don't worry. If you don't have experience in projecting pace, we're going to do that for you with the Super Screener. All right, here's the critical learning number two, form cycle analysis. In this race, you cannot come into it in anything less than top condition. There are basically four different form cycles that you need to be aware of. First, there's the gradually progressive increases in performance over the prep races that led up to the Derby. In some cases, it's gradual decreases in performance coming into the Derby. You also find horses that have a lot of erratic behavior between their preps. And with the Super Screener, we'll help inform you as to when that's a good thing and when that's a bad thing. And of course, there are a whole other group of horses where they look pretty steady over the course of their prep races. The key is understanding which one of these are positive and which one of these are negative. Some of these are going to be surprises to you. Now, tip number three, workout analysis. There's not a race in the entire world where there are so many eyes and cameras on the horses leading up to the Kentucky Derby. These horses can't even take a bath without cameras surrounding them. So, let's take advantage of that. There are plenty of great clues as to how horses are coming into the Derby after all that prep racing when it comes to how they're working out on this track or other tracks around the nation. So what you're looking for are those horses that are just absolutely glowing instead of those horses that are slowing. And in fact, it's not just about what they've run their workouts in, it's how they're doing it. And that's so critical to really doing that final analysis before that gate opens on the first Saturday in May. For example, Orb, the winner of the 2013 Kentucky Derby, there was no other horse in the grounds that looked as good as that horse. And then even in 2014, Commanding Curve. Here's the Super Screener's 37 to 1 bomber pick for that race, and he looked terrific on the track in the mornings. And that was just so critical for us having even more confidence to putting him higher in our wagering tickets. So there you have it. Three critical insights that you need to know to increase your probability of cashing on that first Saturday in May. But don't worry. We've got it all covered for you in the Super Screener, and I encourage you to go to superscreener.com, and there you'll find all of our past results. We have all the preps that led up to this Kentucky Derby completely analyzed for you and rated in terms of quality. In addition, don't listen to me. Check out our testimonials for those people who've purchased our books in the past. So until our next video, I want you to study hard, go fast, and win.